What is going on, you guys? This is your man King May coming back with y'all right here in the King May YouTube channel, y'all. If you like today's video, make sure you go ahead, tap that thumbs up button for me. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed here to the King May community, make sure you go ahead and you do that for me now. But y'all, we are heading back to the farm here with our seed toads. And hey, we got some planting done just to get you guys caught up and updated here with Autumn Oaks. We are cruising along, so the Triticale is off the field here, and as you can see, we got a few different brands of seed here, so we're kind of calculating everything out, and it's going to be a little strategic here with what we have left, so as we're getting back to the farm here, you guys, we got some Stein for a soybean this year, we got Pioneer later on, because I think I'm just going to stick with Rye and do that rotation there into soybean for the next year, and just be cautious of what we're doing rye with i got that for later on but for today anyways we're going to be planting normal soybeans because we have a 30 inch row spacing for our planter i didn't exactly want to go with the split row planter but that option is on here for you guys if you are wanting to do that aside from that we're going to run channel for our silage corn and we're going to run decal for a regular corn. Now, we do have some already in the ground. This is my second load here of seed. We got that ready. That is good to go. Now, we need to go ahead. And today, we got a busy day, you guys. So, aside from planting, I got a little bit of haylage we need to get off the field yet with the triticale. But we got to rake that up first and get everything hooked up and do chopping. But, seeing how I've already been out, we got all the fields limed up that we can do right now. The only fields we have left are the ones that winter wheat is still finishing growing on. Now, we need to hit the fields with dry fertilizer. Now, the reason why I'm going dry fertilizer this time is because we're gonna try and prep as much as we possibly can get nitrogen down, aside from the liquid fert we're using with our planter. And then on our corn anyways, we're gonna go ahead and utilize some side dressing here, if you will. We are currently day one of summer, so time has progressed a little bit here, and there has been so much that we've had to get done so far. It's honestly been really cool. But we're gonna take the old F800 here. We're gonna get her on down the road. We're gonna get some more dry fertilizer loaded up. We also do have some cattle now, you guys, as well. And uh, well, we've been kind of scraping the barrel, just making sure that we feed them as much as we possibly can anyways and get them taken care of here. They are young yet, so eventually they will be calving and eventually we'll be able to start milking here shortly anyways. All right, we just got ourselves loaded up. Let's get on back to the farm here. Get topped off. We need to do a little bit of dry fertilizer here on the last little section all right and i wanted to switch things up a little bit as well y'all so if you notice i haven't quite done a farm tour i've been trying to figure out what exactly i'm going to be happy and content with using now i have the 8120 here we did have an 8520 but i did switch that out we went with an 8400 with the good years there and we'll go ahead we can put the duels on during the fall for the auger wagon and we're out and at it you guys just liming over this like i said normally if you guys would see me doing tillage i would do that liming get it tilled up but seeing how these fields don't need to be plowed and with autumn oaks having such a tight window for everything y'all like i said last video i'm gonna practice some no-till here on autumn oaks i'm gonna see how it works so we're just going ahead and and fertilizing over this lime and then we're going to go ahead and utilize our row cleaners on our kinsey planter so that we can make sure anyways that uh we get the trash kind of cleaned out of the way as we are planting there i think it's going to help us a lot with saving time here on autumn oaks allowing us to stay on track of planting and getting all of our field work done here like I said, I mean, this this late spring and early summer has been one of the busiest that I've had thus far on any map. All right, there we go. Got that field wrapped up. Let's go ahead. Probably going to grab the old K7250. We're going to get that rake hooked up. Let's get on out there and get prepped up for chopping here. Winter wheat is looking absolutely beautiful here. Looks like it's gonna be about ready to harvest here fairly soon anyways. All right, we got the 7250 Magnum warmed up here. Let's go ahead, we're gonna hook up to that rake now. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna head on down. The field is uh, 
and just outside here it's kind of a down pass on the other side of that tree line there and we are off and at it now the only thing i'm a little bit worried about is when we did cut this i had to go and get some planting done this should still be wet grass for us here at least the field anyways when we cut this we were about actually 50 or 60 percent crop moisture it was very heavy it had just rained and we went ahead we got her cut as soon as it kind of dried up a bit there for us and now we're sitting about 24 or so percent moisture so i'm hoping anyways that this grass hasn't really dried it looks like it's still considered wet grass right now it looks like it's still that dark green it's just very light so can't exactly tell all right we got this field wrapped up here now let's go ahead we're gonna get our flashers on we're gonna head on down and let's get back to the farm we're gonna get a couple of chopper boxes down here there we go we got box number one hooked up let's get that down the road here there we go chopper box number one dropped off and just dropping the old pin here in our second chopper box all right and we are off and at it now let's go ahead and uh yeah we're looking like we're actually good you guys so we're gonna be able to use this for hay legit we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna keep on chopping away here and Thank goodness, because I really didn't want to lose this field here. I know we had quite a bit of uh, planting that we had to get caught up on and just some other field work here. So thankfully, it was just good timing. And shutting down the old PTO here, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves on over. We actually got this all with one chopper box. So I don't exactly want to go down the road with a full chopper box. We're, I mean, we're, we're full. I got it all to fit in here, but that's quite a bit of weight. So I'm thinking we're gonna go ahead and probably just drop this box on here. We'll come back and grab it. All right, there we go. Got that one dropped. Let's go ahead, get hooked up to that one. And while we're at it, let me pull the pin here. We'll get this uh, sucked back in for traveling down the road. All right, there we go. We are all hooked up. Let's head on back to the farm now. All right, we got the old 8400 warmed up now. Let's go ahead and get ourselves on. Uh, well, we got to get loaded up because I, I keep running this thing out of seed. I don't want to completely fill it up since how we are bouncing around and doing quite a bit of array of planting here as spring has uh wrapped up and now that we're heading into early summer all right just getting ourselves loaded up now with that soybean here there we go now let's head on out and those fields that we had are rye in which is actually only just one strip we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get soybean into that and these fields here that had the triticale we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get that silage corn planted into there. And we are off and at it, you all. Soybeans are getting in the ground and I can't tell you how excited I am. It's been quite a lot to keep up here with Autumn Oaks, I'm not gonna lie, but I really am enjoying this challenge, you all. If you watch a lot of my series, you guys, I do like using and running the Minnesota Geo just because there's never really been a Wisconsin Geo out for FS19. And as you all know, I'm from the Wisconsin area. So it's just the closest thing to make maps and and uh, the game itself just kind of feel like home when I'm playing. But I'm telling you guys, this custom Geo built in with Autumn Oaks is just different. It's different than the Minnesota Geo and it, it's quite a bit tighter but i love it because it's set up realistically y'all i'm able to do double cropping we're able to do and try some different things that you just can't normally get on most maps here now i know there's been quite a bit you know with weeds and and uh, you can do oil seed radish and whatnot but just being able to do rye and triticale and weeds all for a double crop it's, it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be very, very challenging though. Keeping up, making sure that we got plenty of crop in the ground for food. We gotta make sure that uh, grass, when we go and cut grass here, we're gonna have to divvy that up between haylage and for hay because we still need to make our hay bales as well, which I am very, very excited about being able to utilize our new, uh, our new Holland baler that we've got sitting over there ready to go. You guys, the thing is awesome. And there's so many options on that. Oh my goodness, it's, it's gonna be awesome. I'm loving this series so far. 
then hey you guys let me know in that comment section if you are enjoying this series as much as i am it's been very relaxing very enjoying very challenging though as well so if you guys are are uh having fun on autumn oaks let me know let me know how you guys are are uh doing with it with the challenge with the crops are you guys uh effectively getting everything done let me know but hey we're gonna call this one a video as we are continuing on with soybean planting here i'm gonna go ahead we're gonna keep on working away with autumn oaks we're gonna finish up with this soybean planting and we got to get silage corn on that field there i'm thinking uh i'm gonna catch up with you guys here as summer progresses and we get on to harvesting that wheat because we're gonna need to do some baling with that wheat once we are done there with that harvesting so i'm gonna catch up with you guys then but hey if you enjoyed the video today give me a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed here to the kingman community make sure you go ahead and you do that for me now but y'all i'm gonna catch you on the next one peace